Hello everyone, my name's Brian. Welcome to Broke Ballistics, where the guns aren't broke, I am. Today we're gonna to be shooting at textbooks. How much does it take to stop a bullet? And can you use it to make homemade body armor? Now I know that the book itself won't be enough to uh, stop a bullet, but we do have some surprises in store. Stay tuned to see what they are. All right, so we got our textbook set up on the uh, table. We're gonna shoot it with this uh, 22 out of a six inch uh, barrel, and uh, we'll see how well it does. And if it, it's got flies all over me. If it doesn't stop it, we do have something else to try to stop a bullet with the textbook. So um, we'll give this a go. I'm gonna miss at this range and never live it down. Oh. <laughs> I didn't let go of the uh, safety. <laughs> Let's see if this is the one. All right. Let's check to see if that went through. It actually stopped it. So a regular textbook will stop a 22. Let's see how far I got. So organic chemistry. Wow, it did not go very far at all. Wow, I've crushed all of the paper into a, a wad. Where is that bullet? Oh, it, sh it just shredded the bullet. Here's the only thing left. So, textbook. We'll stop at 22. Let's try something a little bit bigger. All right, so now we're gonna be shooting um, ball ammo, nine millimeter, out of the uh, six hour SP 2022. Um, into the textbook and we'll see if it stops it. Judging by what I did with the 22, I actually give it a fair chance, but we'll know once we give it a go. Hey, actually, Caleb, do you want to take this shot? Yeah. Come on. Just rack the slide when you're ready and uh, give it a go. Don't miss or this will be immortalized. That, I did see uh, dust come up. That went straight through. Right, I'm gonna turn on the autofocus. So where, where'd it go in? Where, where'd you hit it? <laughs> did you miss? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, uh, we're gonna reset real quick and take <laughs> Shot. <laughs> we have reset the shot. We're gonna let Caleb take a, a redemption shot, see if he can hit a <laughs> textbook from five yards. <laughs> All right, go whenever you're ready. All right, I think we got it that time. I didn't see that uh, clap, did you? I didn't. All right, I think it may have stopped. Let's see what we got. Oh. All right. Oh! Did it, did, it, did it go through or did it stop? It did not go through. How far did it go? Let me see the backside. Is there? There's a bulge, but did there's it not a go bulge, through. but there's no hole. All right. Let's let's see how far it went. I think we have another case where like it just kind of shredded the bullet. Yeah, there's pieces of it right there. Pull, pull out what you can get. There's the jacket. It just pushed all the lead out. How hot is it? It's warm. It's warm, but it's not, not too hot. Ooh, I can't get that in focus. But yeah, it, it, it literally just pushed all the lead out of... That's where it went to. Man, that went far. So uh, we are actually gonna give it a... Uh, what do you think, 20 or 12? Um, it's hard to say. <clears throat> well, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a shorty with the 20 and see if it can stop that. Okay. All right. So because it stopped nine millimeter, which I'm actually really impressed that it did, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a 20 gauge. We're gonna shoot a one ounce slug out of a, a shorty uh, with a muzzle velocity, I believe it's a, 
120 meters per second. So still a lot of energy, even though it's such a small round. If this doesn't go through, I do have a, try to remember how big this is. I believe this is a 325 grain um, projectile coming out about 1600 feet per second. So if the shorty does it to the job, then we'll try the Sabo and see if that does it. We may not even need the, the better, uh, the upgrade to the textbook, we'll see. So let's get these loaded. Okay, should it miss at this distance? I don't know if that just knocked the stand over or went through. Let's find out. Okay, so I don't know if this is penetration or just massive inertia. Oh, the nine millimeter fell out from an earlier video. Okay, let's see what this did. I don't think that went through. Holy smokes, man. What is that? Some sort of, oh, I think this is the wadding. Can we find the slug? There's more of the wadding. Where's the slug itself? I don't know if we're going to be able to find this slug. It may have fallen out. Oh, oh. Here's the slug. So it looks like it did not go through, but it did beat the crap out of it. So. Let's try the Sabo. So we are gonna go on to the Sabo round and see if we can't get something to finally go through this textbook. So let's see what we can do. Safety off. We made confetti. That was a lot more power. Let's see if that went through. Oh. All right. And this did blow clean through. There's a hole from start to finish. Starts the beginning and goes through. All right, so. Blew a hole right through the periodic table, right through iron. Huh, interesting. So let's try the upgraded textbook to see if it doesn't improve the protection that this does. So this was just a plain textbook. It stopped up to a one ounce slug, a shorty one ounce slug, but when we went with the Sabo, it went clean through. So we're actually trying an upgrade to it, seeing if this makes any difference. What we have is a ceramic plate in front of the paper. So the idea is that the ceramic plate, just like ceramic body, body armor, will break up the round, flatten it, so that way the paper can do its job and catch the round. So let's see if that works the way advertised. If not, we have bigger textbooks with the ceramic plates, see if we can't get something to catch the uh, Sabo round out of the 12 gauge. So we got another Sabo round. We're gonna load that in and uh, We'll see how it does. Safety is off. And. I don't know if that stopped. So clean through. So the ceramic plate that we set up looks like it did very little to nothing to slow down the round. But we have bigger books. Let's see if we can't make one that can catch this round. 
Um, I'm actually going to switch over to the 223 because we can see what kind of damage this does. And then if it stops the 223, it may go back to this one. But we have bigger and better rounds and I kind of want to see what they'll do as well. So we're going to set this up. We're going to use a bigger book, switch over to the 223. If it catches the 223, we may go back to this one. If not, we may go up to the 762 by 54 RI to the Mosin Nikon. We'll see if, if we can catch around or not. I'm hopeful, but we shall see. So far, unless they're coming at you with a pistol around, it looks like a textbook is not good body armor. We're gonna move up to a 223, so a smaller round, um, but much faster. We've also upgraded our book. We went from a, a smaller textbook with it wasn't a hardcover. We've upgraded to an architecture textbook. Once again with the ceramic plate, we'll see if this has any chance of stopping it or not. Who knows, maybe textbooks aren't uh, the best form of body armor. Okay. Let's see what happened. We hit a little low, but it actually did stop at 223. Little bulging, but it does look like it did make about three quarters of the way through. So we're gonna move up to a bigger round. We'll try the 7.62 now uh, by 54. So pretty big round, it's out of the Mosin Nagant. Um, see if we can't catch it. And then if we can, let's go back to that Sabo round and see if we can't actually stop if we do a bigger book. All right, so now we're gonna be shooting out of the Mosin Nagant. This gun was manufactured in 1959. Has basically all the uh, original parts. I did have to replace the rear sight because the person I bought it from Bubba did a little bit. They put a rubber plate, which I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I, I actually don't mind that much. But then they also removed the front sight and replaced it with a scope that wasn't that great. So I put it back to the original iron sights. Shoots pretty well. Shoots a big old 7.62 by 54R. Um, going real fast. I don't know what off the top of my head. Um, we're gonna see if we can't stop this round. If it doesn't stop, we do have a bigger book to try. Um, but, hey Caleb, do you wanna give this one a go? Maybe. <laughs> don't miss. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get behind the camera. Oh. Turn on the second camera. Brightness is fine. How's it going? You got it seated? Yep. All right. Oof, I saw a little bit of confetti. All right, let's see what, uh, if it went through. All right, chamber is open. There's no rounds in it. All right, flip it over. Let's see. Uh-oh. That looks like it went clean through. Okay. So, wow. we have, yep, that is, that is all the way through. Um, we have a bigger textbook, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna line up this book, the fresh one in front, and see if we can stop it with the bigger book, or if you're gonna need two books. Um, we're gonna reset, and we'll be right back with you. So to make sure we actually catch this round, we've actually stacked three of these books up now. So we have, Ceramic plate, we have a medical textbook, which is the biggest one I could find at my consignment shop. We have the architecture textbook, or the ceramic plate architecture textbook, which stopped the 223, but not the Mosin. And then we have the original one, which couldn't stop the shotgun. So, we are going to give this a go. And uh, see if we can't catch around. I'm gonna aim low and to the left, 
so that way it hits a fresh spot. I did not see confetti, so let's hope the round didn't go low and go into the table, but we'll see. All right, come on, did it stop in the first book? It did. So, if you are a medical student with a ceramic plate, you can stop a 762 by 54R. That is a pretty big round. All right, so we are going to go back and we're gonna shoot this one now with the Sabo round, which is something we couldn't stop before, and see how that handles this book. If that's true, then all you need is a textbook this big and a ceramic plate and you can stop basically any round. Um, little impractical, but uh, this whole setup was I think $5, so I think the most expensive thing was the roll of duct tape. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can't stop that Sabo round next. So we're going back to the Sabo round. We're gonna the thickest textbook now. We have all three textbooks behind them, so we're gonna catch this round no matter what. But I'm gonna see if we can also stop this Sabo because it was giving us trouble earlier. Um, I can't imagine we're gonna have any issue with it seeing as it stopped that Mosin round, but who knows? All right, safety's off. All right, let's see the damage. There's so much more power in this. Okay. Uh, so here's the front, completely demolished, but on the back, it is so uh, it is solid. So you just need this much and a ceramic plate. It's literally just a ceramic tile I had in my garage, and it looks like you can stop just about any round. I mean, we haven't put a 50 AE to, or a 50 BMG through it yet, but any feasible round that you'd ever run into in the wild, hopefully not. But let's see if we can actually find these rounds. All right, so this one has the Sabo round and the Mosin. Okay, we're getting a. Uh, Huge wad. Ooh, it's warm. Oh, oh, there's. Is that the. Oh, yeah, that's hot. So here's the copper jacket. Let's see if we can't find any lead. Man. And here's some of the lead. So it went about that far through, and there's more of it. Unsurprisingly, the Mosin did go further, but not too much further. So, there's the jacket. Where's the lead? But yeah, they're going so fast, they just get destroyed. And so, yeah. Man. Did it go? Did the lead go further in? Maybe. No, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> I haven't flipped through this book yet. I might have to blur some stuff. But you know what, I do feel something hot in there. It looks like the round just disintegrated. There's no big piece of it, but that did stop. Let's see if we can't get that 223 round now. And then we'll call it a day. So it always stopped in the architecture. The Mosin went right through it. So that was the Mosin, that was the 223. So we will open this up. Oh. in there. You get to watch me struggle ripping duct tape, which is, I can imagine, so much fun. Almost there. Come on. Don't forget your knife. EDC, guys. Keep it on you at all times. Okay, so we got the front. Plate off. 
this is the, the Mosin which went all the way through. Got my finger stuck in there. You can tell that the, the ceramic plate actually did do its job because look how big those holes are compared to their entries. So the ceramic plate did flatten those rounds quite a bit, but just not enough stopping material in order to get through there. So we're starting to see it slow down a little bit. There it is, mangled to high heaven, but yeah. So made about three, 400 pages in. So yeah, surprisingly effective for how cheap it is. Once again, do not use this for actual body armor. This is for entertainment purposes only. But I am actually surprised that we were able to catch up to that Mosin round with just paper and ceramic tile. Uh, if you enjoy my content, uh, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell, because that's the only way you're ever going to be able to watch my videos. And um, leave a comment. Tell me what else you'd like me to try to shoot or what kind of homemade body armor you'd like to try uh, have me make. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.